I I know that he the guy wants to start off with the early story of Dante and Virgil, so I feel like he's going to go off the same basis of uh, Devil May Cry 3, which is the, the early, ah, I've got this new place, I'm gonna kill all these demons while rocking out to a jukebox mm. and using fucking eight billiard balls. This, ah! sounds, this sounds like that guy from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. It, Star yeah. Lord? Star Lord, yeah. You know, their their personalities are kind of similar, but Dante is more of the... the uh, My one friend described it best. Uh, so, like, little overview of Dante and, like, his family. Uh, he's the son of a very powerful demon called Sparta, and him and his brother are, like, legacy great warriors. Like, they're, they're, they're on par with being able to take on the King of Hell himself. So, oh Dante is... Dante is oh. guns and rock and roll <laughs> and cowboy shit. Fuck you. Virgil is samurai and tea and honor and, like, Bushido shit. Sparta himself is classical violin shit. And then Nero, the newest member of the family, is FUCK YOU DEAD! PUNK RUN! <laughs> <laughs> That's this my, my friend this described them as crazy. It. Let's rock. Why do you two want to kill each other? It doesn't make any sense. You're family, guys! The Dante and Virgil are like, what the f are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I love Devil May Cry. I can't wait for it to get an adaptation. It's going to be so good. Something that I well, know that it was our... Sorry if I interrupted. Well, I was going to say, speaking of adaptations, did you hear about uh, the, 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 the story on Twitter about uh, Hideo Kojima? What's no. happening? In... What, what is Kojumbo doing? Uh, Apparently, one time this guy came to him to pitch an anime series of Metal Gear Solid, and uh -huh. Kobe, Kojima just like spoke to his producer real quick, looked back at the guy, pointed at him, and said, Otaku. How? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Ouch. That's a feeling that that must, that must shake someone to their bone. That's so ironic, considering that, like, Hideo himself is, like, the biggest weeaboo ever. Yeah. yeah. Wait, that might be giants? Hey. <laughs> that is just... Yeah. Sorry. That man made Death Stranding. I can't take him seriously. <laughs> this dude what The guy wants to make movies. He wants to make Pretty movies, much. but it takes him, like, what... 70 hours to tell Death Stranding he, story? He want, you're gonna, if he, yeah. wants, if he wants to make a movie, he needs a freaking editor first. <laughs> or and furthermore, <laughs> I think you need to have a bit of a restraint. Like, if you're gonna, like, you're adapting a movie, there's only so much time you can tell. I mean, look what happened to The Last Airbender. Oh, yeah. Kojima be like, I want to make a movie. Okay, what is this movie? Okay, so here's the script, and it's like a fucking novella. And they're like, okay, Hideo? Why don't you write a book, Hideo? No, I <laughs> want a movie! If you want this... a movie, you're gonna have to have some limitations. This book is thicker than the Divine Comedy and Les Mis put together. What the hell? <laughs> I still... <laughs> I, I, I still think it's ridiculous that eventually we are getting Death Stranding, the director's cut, and after, I'm... I am someone who played through that thing in its entirety, and the fact that there's a director's cut, it, it's one of two things. One, Kojima is like, I think movies are cool, and this term gets used for movies, so I want to use it, but he doesn't know what it means. Or two, what the hell did you possibly cut from that thing? After, after, after... There's a second baby. But I after Extinction entered en Entities, Bridge Babies, Guillermo del Toro is Frankenstein's monster, and fucking My Heart Shaped Lake, what did you come up with that somebody had to tell you no? Like, okay, there all, there okay, is okay, a turkey, a turkey. John Travolta comes in. Oh, God. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's One whole look. John Travolta is missing from this equation. Fucking Robert De Niro just shows up. <laughs> There's also and, and a so third option. What's, what's the, the third, third option? option? He's a fan of Sonic Adventure DX. Oh, oh God! God. <laughs> but, uh, oh. if anyone was wondering why I was saying they might be giants, uh, a show I like called Central Park, which is an Apple TV Plus musical. Uh, oh, I love that. 
I've seen a couple uh, of songs. Season, season that two good. aired today, and they aired the first three episodes on Apple TV Plus. Is that... And I was looking. Uh... Hmm? Is is that the show that's like the same animation team for Bob's Burgers? Yes. Yes. It's from the, it's okay. from the people who made Bob's Burgers. But I uh, I was just looking at the track list because their big thing is that one song in each episode. And keep in mind, each episode is like four separate oh, songs. Shit. Uh, yeah. I was looking, but each but each episode has a song that's written by a guest writer. So I was looking at one of Get them, and they might be giants wrote a song for one of the first three episodes, and that makes me very happy because I love they might be giants, and everyone should love they might be giants. And if you don't, you're not correct. <laughs> Jeez. So what you're saying is, I should never listen to they might be giants just to spite you. I mean. Istanbul's now Constantinople, but yes. Oh uh, damn it! I can't say that. I love that song. It's a bop. Ah! Yeah, that that's they might be giants, baby. I'm gonna. Well, hurt uh, that's, uh, no, uh, that's the impression. That's the impression that I get. Back to what <laughs> I was saying earlier about uh, game adaptations of what would actually work. Um, mm -hmm. it, like it, it's a re uh, okay. There's like a couple of, a couple of in mind, but yes. I do believe you can make a good Resident Evil movie. I yes, yeah, that is, yeah. Uh, George Romero wrote the script, and it was a lot closer to the games, but it was rejected for unknown reasons. Some people said it was too violent. Some said it was too expensive. It's There's cap. Too much violence. It's it was Capcom. Evil? It was Capcom being Capcom. These are the same people who, Made rather it. than releasing DMC four. Or rather than leasing, releasing DMC five back after DMC four, they took a look at it and went, "No, nah, we've got to westernize Devil May Cry." That's why Americans didn't buy DMC four as much as they did with DMC three. And then they gave us a Dante who says "fuck" uh, and drinks and fucks girls in one night stands when we know for a fact Dante has never had sex in his entire life. Dante yeah. is a certified virgin. Capcom just doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. Oof. I am. I just, I, am... I, just I just want to go into the timeline where Silent Hills was an actual game. Yes. I actually like. Look, I've heard some positive things about the Silent Hill movie compared to the games, but that's only a pinch of salt that I'm taking. The biggest well, thing. Yeah. The biggest thing that bugged me about the that bugs me about the Resident Evil movies. Isn't the quality of the movies or anything to do with that? It's that Paul W. S. Anderson is a massive piece of shit, and he shouldn't be making movies anymore, because um, yeah, one of the main reasons I. Go ahead. Yeah. Do you do you know about why he cost a stunt actress her career? What did What did he do? Oh so, boy. Paul W. S. Anderson has a bad habit of making last minute decisions and then telling no one. And oh. on the set oh of one of the Resident Evil movies, I think it was like the second to last one, oh, where fuck. a stunt double for his wife's character, yeah, because he's married to Mila Jovovich. Yeah. And he's Mila like, Jokovic. look at how hot my wife is. Yeah, yeah good that's all, for you, that's asshole. Why, yeah, that's that's also why, like, look how look how much cooler my wife is compared to all your fucking video game characters. Chris Redfield, Jill Valentine, <laughs> they're not shit. Alice Leon is S. the strongest one. Leon S. Kennedy. Fuck you, Paul. But, um... Yeah. But no, one one of the biggest... So, I think it was like the second to last Resident Evil movie. I um, think it was Retribution? I'm pretty... Yeah, there was... Think, yeah. There was a scene involving uh, Mila's character on ah. a motorcycle. And the stunt double for her character... At the last minute... Uh, Paul decides he wants it shot from a different angle, tells no one but the cameraman, and even the cameraman's like, are you sure about this? And he's like, yeah, no, do it. And then the stunt actress was unaware that the camera rigging was going to be that close, went into it. Her face was degloved and ended up having an arm amputated. <gasps> And the oh, thing shit. is, and the thing is, like, uh, his production company, because that's the thing, he also produced these movies. It was his produ production company. 
You know, oh, told everybody, you know, told all the stunt actor, uh, told all the stunt people like, hey, you guys are covered under our medical insurance, you know, don't worry about anything. And then she gets all her bills. And when they tell her, it's like, oh, we don't have to pay for all of that. She had to take them to court to get them to pay for that. And what a piece of shit. Yeah. And like I said, Jesus. she does not have a career. She doesn't have a career anymore because of it. Yeah. And he lost an arm because of a because of his stupid last minute decision. Uh, she wow. lost an arm and she no she lost an arm and no longer has her original face. Like that's yeah. that's another thing. Like yes, Paul W S Anderson is just shy of a murderer. Um, Jesus Christ! The thing what? is, and you you can find this story. This is not hearsay. Uh, this is this is confirmed that happened. Is a crew member actually did die on the last Resident Evil film after a Humvee was not secured properly and crushed a crew member to death. Oh my yep. god, dude. Jesus, that just makes me hate him even more. Yeah, oh, god, damn. Oh, piece of shit. I am so glad that Monster Hunter movie fucking failed miserably. Oh, I because... forgot that was even a thing. Oh yeah, no, that movie's awful. <laughs> oh, I'll bet it's awful. The only, only good movie from Paul W. Sanderson was uh, Mortal Kombat. That's it. Event Horizon yeah. was trying too hard to scare me, and it didn't do shit. More, Resident Evil just had nothing to do with the games, and everybody already knows about that. Resident Evil was Resident Evil was Paul W. S. Anderson saying, "Look how cool my wife is." They're not even Resident Evil movies. They're fucking. It's his own fan fiction. That's all what it is. Yeah. Not even fan fiction can be good. Look at every episode of OKKO. OK that's basically fan fiction, but that's nice fan fiction. Well, that's that's being Look. aware of just being a commentary of having, you know, hilarious fan fiction. You look know, at I, some of the look at most of the catalog of archives of your own. <laughs> oh my it's god, just, that's that's At some point, like cuz cuz you know, sometimes accidents happen on set, but that was so by his own the blood is squarely on his hands. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's just awful. Like, this, isn't, this isn't when um, Bruce Lee's kid died during the making of Crow because there was an accident. Because there was an accident with the gun. Like, that... The Crow, that just, was... Yeah, no, that was... Uh, yeah, like, there's freak accidents, and then there's that. Yes. Like, there is Paul. There is freak accidents, and then there's Paul W.S. Anderson going, Do it for the vine! Yeah, uh, they, no, it's like, yeah. it's just his whole thing of like, no, I should be able to make changes whenever I want. I don't have to tell people about it. Fuck you. Like, you need to be professional over this shit. Good right? God. I, I would love to see a contract for an actor or stunt actor for a Paul W.S. Anderson movie. If there's one where it's like, yeah, uh, we are not liable if you lose your face. We are what not liable that? if you what lose is your that limbs. A stipulation in the contract, Paul. Oh, you know, it's just precaution. What precaution? <laughs> just, just, just. What the fuck? I, I have a deep-seated dislike for Paul W. S. Anderson strictly because of that, uh, that whole thing. After seeing those two stories, I was like, man. Oh my god. I already didn't like you on principle because of what you did to one of my favorite video game franchises but, but the fact that you're, you're literally a murderer yeah, no, like you, you are literally a murderer go fucking jump off a cliff dude like, like wow dr yeah. drink an entire 7-eleven slurpee of crude oil like that's not <laughs> <laughs> Like, if it wasn't for the fact that you were, like, you make, bi like, millions and millions of dollars off of your basically Uwe Bull level of accuracy to video game translations. It's, it's his own fan fictions. But like, yeah. if, if it wasn't the fact that you made that much money off of all of this bullshit, then I would love to see you be slapped into the electric chair for capital punishment. Right. You love it! Paul W. S. Anderson movies are just Uwe Boll movies with higher production values. Yes, they are. That's a hundred percent. Basically, 